boys and girls! Welcome back for another episode of Reading with Rose. Today's story has three of my favorite things. Cupcakes, mathematics, and Pete the Cat. Today's story is a little different because we're going to be reading and we're going to hear different math stories. So what I need you to do is write a number sentence that matches what's happening in our story. Okay? So if you need to go get a pencil and paper or something to write with, you can hit pause, go grab your materials, and then come back and listen to the story. Okay? Excellent. All right. So today's story is Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. When I touch, you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten when they were done. Oh no, hang on, some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. So, I want you to write a number sentence that matches this page of the story. So we need to think about what was our hole that we started with, how many were taken away, and what was left over. If your number sentence matches mine, 10 minus two equals eight. Kiss your brain. Let's keep reading. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found, sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel, she loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Uh-oh, it seems like we have another number sentence. So think about what did we start with as our whole, how many were taken away, and how many are left over. If you need more time, you can pause the video. If your number sentence matches mine, give yourself a kiss on the brain. They had eight, someone stole two more, and now there's only six left. Eight minus two equals six. Just then they found another clue. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Number sentence time. Go for it. If you need more time, you can hit pause. 
my number sentence, 6 minus 2 equals 4. They had 6, 2 more were taken away, and now there are 4 left. If your number sentence matches mine, kiss your brain. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. And if you look right here closely in this picture, you can see someone stealing the cupcakes. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Number sentence time. They're all gone now. So how many did he start with? How many were taken away? And how many are left? Did you take them, Rose? If you need more time, hit pause. They have four cupcakes and four were taken away because now there are zero cupcakes left. Four minus four equals zero. If your number sentence matches mine, kiss your brain. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun, Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. The end.